Mrs. McAnally. Tall guy who meant business. 
said, okay, I'm going to come to school the next day. And he did. He came at recess, and he kind of saw me cowering in the corner by the wall, really trying to be invisible. And he took my hand and he said, okay, we're going into the principal's office. And he did. We marched into the principal's office. And that day, at recess, guess who was in the principal's office? Norman. Norman. And Norman didn't come out for recess for a month. And he even did apologize. So what did I learn out of that? I learned that it's really, really important to tell someone, tell your parents that this is going on. Something is going on and it's really important. Tell your parents, tell the teacher. Make them know what's happening. And the other thing I learned is not to let anyone define who I am. Okay. No one can make you feel anything without your consent. If you agree, let them feel that way. Okay. And that is the important. And please be sure, and if you tell someone and they say, oh, get over it, get over it, find someone else to tell unless you can find it in a first aid kit. But I doubt that you'll find the answer in a first aid kit. So, what is bullying really at this point? And whose responsibility is it? Is it yours? Yeah. Is it mine? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Right. Oh, good. Let's try that again. Is it yours? Yes. Yeah. Is it mine? Thank you. Uh, we have our, I want to thank our, our, our football players over there for, you know, participating and, and cheering. We've been a great audience so far. So let's go out and introduce our next person. We have Lee Faith, and Lee Faith is the executive director of Champion Against Bowling, which means she's the person who does the day-to-day -day work, the day-to-day -day operations. So let's give her a big round of applause and welcome. Thank you. Yeah. 
And I, I, don't, I don't think she saw my knees knocking, but that's literally what it felt like. And so we had the stare down, and I don't know where this came from. But I looked at her and I was like, yeah, good luck. And I brushed by her, and just as I brushed by her, she kind of made a move. And I, and I just beelined out of there. I don't even remember walking home. That's how out of my mind terrified I was. And I got home, and I was all alone. Both my parents were working, and the phone rings. And it's the girl at school who kind of just took, as we say, Switzerland. She was not on their side, she was not on my side, but she thought to call me because she heard this girl, Jen, telling a bunch of people that she was gonna kill me the next day. Yeah, yeah. And and when, when, I, when this girl, Abby, told me this on the phone, I literally, I kind of checked out of my whole body. I, I, I went into disbelief. I thought, how could anyone, especially someone that had been such a close friend, and what did I do, and what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me that someone wants to kill me? So, she, and she said, I don't think you should come to school tomorrow night. And, and all I could think of was, no one is going to tell me what I can or cannot do. That's for sure. I certainly won't feel threatened by someone. And, and anyway, so I was crying, crying, crying. My mom got home, and I finally told her what had been happening and what the latest was. Well, she picked up the phone, and she called this girl's mother, who was shocked really surprised that her daughter would be out, so out of her mind to say something like that. So a half hour later, our phone rang again, and it was this girl, Jen, and she apologized to me. And she told me that nothing bad will happen. Now, we never became friends again, and that's okay, because I don't, that's not what I would call a friend. But I went to school the next day and I wasn't scared. And from that day on, I knew no child should ever be scared to go to school. No child should feel threatened or upset because they're being bullied, whether it's name, verbal bullying, physical bullying, any of it. We'll, we'll go into all that later too. But really, please, if you're feeling scared, there is a reason why and you Please tell a safe adult, because it could mean your life. It's certainly your happiness, and you deserve to have everything. So with that, I wish you all a beautiful day. Some of you will get a chance to see later, and, um, and you will have um, our website and access to our emails. And feel free to reach out and ask for help or anything you need at any time. Thank you very much. Very much. Um, one of the things that Lee said that I thought was really important is that we're a trusted adult. And so I want you to look throughout the room. We asked everybody actually in the room that has one of our Ready to Learn shirts on. Um, that's our theme for the year. Um, go ahead and raise your hand if you're a trusted adult in the room that has one of the shirts on. If you could stand up, um, take a look around. Remember those first day of school, we introduced all these trusted adults. These are people that you can go to and talk about, let them know when you have these kinds of situations. Give them a round of applause because these are the people that are your first contacts when you have a problem with issues going on. So, those, that idea of trusted adults right there. Okay, you're doing a great job. Really appreciate your, your listening, your focus on the speakers. I'm going to now turn it back over to our well, let me before this, I was sticking in my head. Um, I'd like to introduce Nadine. Nadine, come on out here. Nadine is from the Public Service Credit Union. And Nadine is the person that's responsible for this entire event today. Bringing it in, organizing, uh, getting all the details and, and speakers, and working on raising funds to provide us with this event. So we'd really like to half of the community, half of the schools, we'd like to say thank you for all of your hard work. So everyone, if you give her a big round of applause. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it over to Ashley and Yasmin to introduce 
our last speaker. We're going to introduce Garrett Clayton. He's a star champion celebrity spokesperson. He's a Michigan native, so he's from Dearborn. He's best known for his starring role as Tanner, the sun bleached surf star, in the hit Disney film, Teen Beach Movie. He loves working with champions against bullying and is thrilled to be back in Romulus. Here is Garrett Clayton. Do you think you might share these 
find humans. Um, would you share with them maybe an experience that the experience that really touched your heart the most, the one that really sent you into, you know, sleeping, when that put you right into sleep mode? Right into sleep mode. Oh my gosh, uh, it was accumulation. Uh, I think it was, it was the moment the person I thought was my best friend walked behind me in the hall and started like, you know when someone's walking behind you and they know that you can hear, yeah. but they're acting like you can't, so they're talking about you to, the, to this other person. They're like, oh yeah, you know, look at them, blah, blah, blah. saying all these weird, negative, you know, all these like, me negative, harsh things. <laughs> Oh, you know, and then you think, am I those things? And then, you know, it's, they got into my head because these are people that care about me. And, and why are they saying these things about you? Yeah. Are, are they true? Yeah. And how much they hurt? Mm -hmm. And then, so, how did you, when, how did you find acting? How did I find it? I, um, we had, like, a, a really small drama club at my school. And I remember trying it when I was younger, and I was like, eh, I'll go try this club, and it ended up being a huge part of my life, which I still go back and I help to have at today. Oh, that's amazing. Um, what, what was the first play you ever did? First play was Shepherd's Club. <laughs> I didn't know any lines, and I was the worst little homework ever. <laughs> and then, so, Today, you know, you've been working a lot in TV and film. Can you talk about um, your favorite role and why? My favorite role? Um, I mean, Tanner was pretty cool. I think most people here know, know when I was Tanner. Um, I think it was really fun when I, it wasn't on in film that it was my favorite role, but I was. Oh, please tell us about it. <laughs> um, I did fame on stage. Do you guys ever? Fame. That's one of my favorite. Yeah. And so I played like I played. <laughs> um, I was the dancer, the uh, Leroy. Wow, those are tall shoes to grab. So cool. <laughs> So, and then, okay, so you're also, you also sing and dance. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you discover singing and dancing? Just through being in that drama club. It was just trying something new, and then I found all these different things that I kind of wanted to get interested in. So because of getting involved in something that I didn't know that I was, you know, I was just trying something new, and then I found out all these other things. And so you found out that you liked it, and then that actually helped you with your self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I mean, just trying something outside the box and like, you know, just, it's, I always find the one thing in life that I'm most scared of, if I just try the one thing that I'm scared of doing, then that ends up being the thing that I, oh, that I like doing the most. You know, I, by the way, I, I am terrified of public speaking, so. <laughs> This is Everybody all for you guys. Great job, you guys. Um, when you're terrified, where, how do you feel? Or like, does it? Where does it hit you in your body? What What happens to you when you're scared? Um, when I'm scared or nervous, like right now, um, I always feel this like, like you know, adrenaline. It's just all in my stomach. I just feel like I just want to like curl up and then like evolve. <laughs> well, that's great. And then, and then, so what do you do? How do you move past that fear? What do you do to get out of that uh feeling and, and be able to function in your life or excel in your art? How do you move through that? Well, I think because it, it was the point that I had on before, I've learned in my life, it's always when I just push through that fear or, you know, you know, breathe. Breathing is a huge thing. Believe it or not, well, no, just, you know, you get nervous and you hold your breath and you're wondering why you, you freak out or you want to run away and just take a deep breath and everything. 
that's actually, those are wise words. <laughs> Very wise words. Um, is there anything else that you might want to share, again, with these fine young beings here in Rhyme? Most likely. I think she deserves a round of applause for me, so. Thank you, Garrett, for coming out. Thank you. Thank you so much for the wonderful man who's been a huge support. Posters, credit union, Nadine, our wonderful super, if she's not here, yes. Yes, of course. Oh, there you go. Thank you so much for being such a wonderful support, principal. Jason, Tom Haney, and, and all the staff here. We're really excited to dig in, and we hope we can come back and see you again soon. Thank you. Champions Against Bullying. And Alex, if you could just tell us a little bit about your background with the organization and how it got all started. Yes, okay. Um, for a number of years, I worked in special ed at the Board of Education. And I was a counselor and um, a crisis intervention specialist. And um, at the time, I noticed a lot of things that were kind of needing some more attention. And so um, I thought, okay, I think I will devote some time to taking care of what I thought was very important, and that was kids who were being compromised and humiliated and physically bullied. You know, there's the various kinds of bullying. The thing is, they didn't know what to do, they, and they didn't know where to go to get the help. And I thought, we really need to do something a little bit more formal about that. And so Champions Against Bullying was born. <laughs> Great. Now, what are some programs that you guys work on besides visiting the schools? Okay. Uh, well, we do workshops for kids, parents, and educators. It's very important to get the parents involved mm -hmm. because, uh, of course, I think in a parent's job description, I think protecting their children is a big thing, absolutely. And parents can be at a disadvantage, too, because, you know, it's sort of, how do you know what you don't know? And so it's about listening between the lines and knowing what to do, how to recognize the signs. How do you know if your child is a bully? How do you know if your child is being bullied? Mm -hmm. And for the others that are bystanders, there's trauma, you know, um, and so they have to know also how to help, how to help a bullied child without compromising themselves. Great. Now, if people want to get involved with your organization or donate, make a donation, oh, what? Yes, yeah. What's, how you. can we get in contact? Or do you have a website? We do. It's www.championsagainstbullying.org. Uh, you can, we'd love to hear from you as well. You can uh, get in touch with us at info at championsagainstbullying.org. Perfect. Thank you so much for being here, and we are so happy to have you here in Romulus today. Well, Hi there. I'm here with Garrett Clayton, uh, most recognized for his Disney Star original movie uh, character as Tanner in the Teen Beach movie. And Garrett has been here today at Romulus Middle School, and we just did a presentation or a great assembly uh, with Champions Against Bullying. Now, Garrett, how did you get involved with this organization? 
Um, through a friend, actually. He ended up um, referring us, and then we got coffee, and then, you know, they ended up knowing my friend Nadine, and then it was just one of those, like, serendipitous moments where everything just kind of came together. Yeah, that's perfect. And uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, I know you mentioned during the assembly, but some of your experience with uh, bullying and being bullied. Um, You know, I mean, I think like everybody else in high school or anybody in the school system, you know, there's always people who get along with you or that don't. And, you know, I mean, myself, like I had people who bullied me and then I got into this weird headspace where I would like try and sleep it off, which was crazy because I think that was like my brain's weird way of coping with it. So um, after that, you know, I learned how to just let it positively affect my life and Mm -hmm. I kind of dug myself out of the hole. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And so you're from Dearborn Heights. Yeah. So how's it feel to be back in the area? It's really nice. I mean, I'm so excited that I can come home and kind of try and help make a difference in any small possible way and Mm -hmm. speak to the students and, you know, let them know that they're not alone and that they're, you know, you're going to be stressed and you're going to go through life, but, you know, just keep trucking. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, that's a great takeaway, I think, for kids at home. Anything else you'd like to tell them? Um, You know, it's everyone here in Romulus has been really great and so welcoming, and I'm just thankful to be here. So how many more stops on the school tour with uh, Champions Against Bullying are there going to be? I'm not sure because I, I, you know, I'll be popping in through it and there will be different star champions for different schools. And, you know, I think they're they're so good at working with multiple people. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you so much for being here today. We're happy to have you. All right. Thank you. All right. We're here today with Leif, the director of Champions Against Bullying. Tell us a little bit about your organization. Thank you. Um, So we're one of the oldest anti-bullying organizations. um, And, you know, as we specialize in bullying prevention, um, we're known to be the one of the ones that one of the only ones that actually provides solutions, and we're honored to be able to do so. Um, especially lately, there are a lot of pop-up bullying or prevention organizations, and it's mostly based on PR, and so why people call us is to actually provide real solutions. Great. Great. So you're here today at Romulus Middle School yes. and uh, doing a full day of workshops. What do some of those entail? Well, our workshops for middle schoolers, you know, we we break down what bullying is, how it how it can affect you. We get into the emotional, social emotional side. We do role plays and we talk about tools and we get the kids up on their feet and responding. It's very interactive and we've seen such extraordinary results in the past. So we're really excited to talk to the kids here. They were wonderful during the assembly, really present and um, and I think we can dig in and take it to the next level. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. So uh, this is your first stop, the kickoff on your kind of a school tour uh, in a few different states. Now, where are you headed? So next we're headed to Louisville, and um, we've got some uh, really exciting things planned there. Um, We also have uh, some interest in the Louisville Film Festival, Um, and then we head over to Bowling Green um, to do some work there, then onward to Chattanooga, Tennessee, Nashville, and then back to LA, probably 80%, but you never know what comes up and we're, we're ready to go with it. That's great. So the sponsor for the presentation here today was Public Service Credit Union. Yes. And uh, so who are some of the other partners that you're working with along the way? Uh, and we just want to say that Public Service Credit Union has been absolutely incredible in um, bringing us here and their whole initiative and dealing with Nadine and, and, and the superintendent and the mayor. You know, the mayor gave us the key to the city a few months ago and he's just um, he's really uh, with us and and that's important Mm -hmm. especially it's important for this area in in Michigan um, that we do that Uh, so it's it's just super exciting and we have we have sponsors um, along the way and so I'm here with Nadine from uh, Public Service Credit Union as the marketing analyst and I from what we hear you've been kind of the glue to put this whole program together so tell us a little bit about how you got this all planned Um, well we actually started working with Champions Against Bullying when we did our community challenge at the credit union and we were working with four charities and once we hit a goal and interest saved we were able to donate to all four of those charities Um, being so, me and Alex started talking and we decided we really wanted to continue this partnership. We really, you know, wanted to um, be a part of this charity. Public Service Credit Union really wanted to get behind, you know, Champions Against Bullying 100% and really find a way to get them incorporated into the Romulus system. Me and Gary actually grew up together. Um, We did shows together. Um, You know, he's him 
and my husband are great friends. My stepdaughter absolutely loves him, oh, yeah. as you can imagine. You know, she's yeah. eight years old, and um, so I gave him a call, and I asked him if he could come out and possibly do this for, for Champions Against Bullying and become a star champion, and turns out he actually was already, you know, wanting to be a part of it. He had already spoke to the founder as well, and, and so... You know, everything just kind of came together, That's and amazing. everyone has been amazing to work with, and we've been very lucky that it came together the way it did. Yeah, that's great. Well, we really appreciate you guys being here. Public service does so much for in Romulus, and you guys are always a great resource to have. So are you going to be doing any other um, charity drives or interest drives here um, soon? Well, or? we are currently raising money, you know, to uh, keep keep Champions Against Bullying into the schools. Um, we just finished our community challenge, which... Um, the prizes get uh we'll announce the charity winners for that next week so right. definitely stay posted and, and you guys will know who the big donations are going to okay great well thank you so much and thank you.